how do I know when to change my filter or cartridge on my 3M respirator? Hi everybody, Penny from the 3M safety team with three basic steps to work this out. One, breathing resistance. What does this mean? So when your particle filter is doing a really good job and cool all that particle that you're working with and it's hard for you to breathe, then it's time to change it. This is going to be different for different people. Two, if your filter's had any damage, this could be burnt or wet. Three, for any specific company requirement that you may have, which could involve bot or quality control or decontamination process. One, according to your predetermined cartridge change schedule, your workplace will need to consider the type of contaminant, how much you're working with, how often you're working with it, temperature, humidity, and your work rate. Other key elements to consider are how well that contaminant is absorbed into the carbon cartridge, health and any odour warning properties. Two, in the past we may have used smell, taste and irritation as indicated to change your cartridge. Now as humans we're not foolproof so this should not be relied upon. Three, once you do open your carbon cartridge, no longer than six months, but please remember to always go back to your cartridge change schedule. What do we do when we've got a combination of vapour, gas and particulate, such as this example with a spray application of adhesive? Well, we just put in place the same basic steps as we did, both with the particulate filters and your carbon cartridge. And another tip, always at the end of the day, store your respirator safely away in a container.